video game sales may be down, but that hasn't stopped developers from looking for the next big thing. Some companies say it's time to move from 3D to 4D, and that transition is all about using the power of the brain. Mark New has more. Can actually get facial expression video games through the ages. But where are they headed next? This is the first ever Neuro Gaming Conference, bringing together the latest technologies that stimulate your nervous system and make greater use of your brain. Interaction uses sensors in a headband called Muse. So as you focus, the sun and the moon come together in order to create an eclipse. You're getting points along the way and it's gamified. And then once you see how your mind is behaving, you can do exercises to change and improve your cognitive abilities. Another part of neurogaming is haptic sensation or the science of touch. Disney recently launched this gaming pad, which allows users to feel different textures. That's only scratching the surface of the field's potential. So for example, you're playing a game and you shot a gun. So as you're shooting a gun, you can feel the motion uh, uh, on your back that it's, it's, it's actually going up and down. Neurogaming is drawing interest from venture capitalists who took to this panel to discuss the state of the industry. Banker Nate Henning says while the technology is too new to forecast whether it'll be a hit, he has some doubts. A lot of people, time when people are playing games, um, their, their mind is wandering and they're just kind of passing time. So I think it remains to be seen if you can truly um, you know, do two things at once. Much of this technology came straight out of the science labs and into the game world. But the futurist who first coined the term neurogaming now hopes that the gaming world will help drive innovation in the world of health. The innovation cycle times within the gaming industry are 10x, 20x what's happening in health and education. So we need to tap into that sort of innovative spirit, but if we don't get the entertainment sector interested and don't make it profitable for them, then it's not going to happen for these other areas. Lynch says a dozen companies are currently working on therapeutic neurogaming to treat everything from attention deficit disorder to schizophrenia. He says those companies are growing, but could use a jolt from the gaming sector to make an even bigger impact on society. Mark New, CCTV, San Francisco.